Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a quick episode of Junkyard Digs. Today, no real revival stuff happening, at least not right now, maybe later, but uh, more so than anything, this is an episode on closure. So, those of you that are familiar with the channel know what this car is. This is the 70 satellite that myself and Thunderhead 289 spent a week out in the woods living in our camper vans and got this thing running for the first time in a number of years. I don't exactly remember the number anymore. It's been so long since we last touched it. In fact, it's been three years since we last touched this car. Not a lot has changed, unfortunately. If you see right there, there's a little bit of damage from the tornado. So let's, let's get a look at this satellite and then I'll talk about a little bit of what we're going to do and why the camera is on today. So like I said, this is the 70 satellite sport with a 318 and a three speed on the column that we got from Keokuk, Iowa. Uh, Luke and I spent a week on this, got it running. It was, as a lot of people have said, the best revival series to ever hit YouTube. And I would have to agree with that entirely because this thing was a roller coaster of it's gonna work it's not gonna work it's gonna work it's not gonna work if you haven't seen that go check it out it is the best series but seeing that you're all watching this right now you probably recognized it from the thumbnail and you want to know part eight which is this of the satellite series and get some closure on the rest of the story for this car as you can see tornado puckered up this fender pretty bad so the new owners got to deal with that and we've got a little damage from where the skid loader bumped it one time over here. It's been sitting right here, right around the corner, pretty much ever since the revival back in 2019. What we're going to be doing today is putting this sucker on the trailer and heading south to drop it off to its new owner, who will be putting time into it at some point and putting it back on the road where it belongs in one form or another. So let's get the truck over here, load the sucker up, and start heading south. I just scoot your butt over. Yeah. I remember once upon a time I smashed my fingers right here. It was not fun. I did not enjoy that. Pick it up with the skid loader. Oh, is it scraping? Everything touched the trailer. Jeez. No, it's just a stick. <laughs> Just a mere 13 hour drive that way. Let's make it happen. This is gonna suck. So while we're heading to our first stop here before I hop in the truck that actually is carrying the satellite, I should probably mention why we are now finally getting back to this car. Right now, behind me, I have a couple more cards. One from the channel, one that never really did get a video. Uh, the Midget and a Bronco 2 back there. I am selling those both to my buddy Steve, so you'll be able to see those on his channel. I I would love to keep the midget. We just don't have room and I need to face that reality that that car is going to be better off in someone else's hands than in my own where it will just sit and have more and more animals live in it. <laughs> like the seat got destroyed and something lived under the engine bay while it sat for a mere winter 
in my parents shed same goes for the satellite it needs to go to a much better home which is what we are doing it is going to somewhere where it will be appreciated as a Mopar and somewhere it will have another shot at life someone who is much more ambitious than I am when it comes to fixing that kind of stuff the reason it's happening right now instead of months ago or months from now is because as some of you may have seen my parents place got hit by a tornado fun opportunity this is exactly where that tornado started it took out that grain bin site and the entirety of that chicken coop site which is now gone from here traveled north and took out a couple buildings on my folks place and because of that dad is finally able to build the shop he's always wanted to do auto body in now he's building that right where all these cars sat and right where all the stuff from the early days of junkyard digs is piled up and now that i have property and land of my own it's time for me to get that all off their land and down south to where we live so that's why these are moving right now is because for the last week i have been doing nothing but hauling cars and engines and we're totally out of room so these two are going to steve's place right now and that one is going down south and i'm not gonna say where to yet but since it's power tour this week luke is in the area as well and i'm really hoping we can get the whole gang of me and him and the satellite back together maybe rip one more burnout or something before we give it to its new owner but i will say don't worry you're going to see more videos of this car its story on our channel is coming to a conclusion but its story on youtube is only just starting Move the suspension on that old plymouth just just soaking up the bumps but watch this bridge <laughs> all right so there we go these are in their new home you can check these out on steve's channel this week with cars i'm sure there will be plenty of content on these cars along with all the other crazy cars he has as for now i need to go power wash this trailer because i borrowed it from my buddy uh, wrench and redneck phoenix get this thing cleaned up switch the big truck onto the satellite and head south let's get it done all right phoenix's trailer's all clean set aside for him to pick up whenever satellites all loaded up strapped down ready to go on the now pressure wash diesel i'm gonna grab my extra underwear and extra t-shirt and hit the road i got all my crap gotta say goodbye to the mookers goodbye the mookers Bye. i'll see you in a few days hecker have fun in your dump truck or whatever you're gonna do <laughs> Don't burn the place down, please. Nope, mook, mook. <laughs> All right, let's head south. Man, it has been raining every other day this spring, I swear, which is okay, because the corn's in, and this is good for the corn. Either way, we're coming up on Marshalltown right now. I got about 11 hours left, so I'm just gonna knock this thing out, and we'll see you guys uh, in Tennessee. If you follow us on Instagram, you already know who's getting the car, but I, as you can tell, I'm slowly giving more hints. By the way, if you guys are on Instagram, junkyard underscore digs, go give us a follow. You'll see stuff that never makes it to the channel, stuff three or four weeks before it's the channel. It's really the behind the scenes spot for all of our content. I have no idea where I am and I can't see shit and all the roads are curvy and there's a thousand bugs on the windshield. Yeah, I think this is the monkey road. Sharp right onto US 61 South Avenue of the Saints. Yes, yes. So we stopped at that gas station with the Delta 88 like a thousand years ago. I say monkey road because this little patch of lights right in the middle of your dark black screen, uh, there was a giant inflatable purple monkey last time we came through here. And I don't see him today, so I definitely know where we are though. Oh, shit, there's the arch. I did not think I'd be that close to it. I don't know if you can see it, but it's right there. In half a mile, keep left to continue on I-55 North, I-64 East. Thank you, phone lady. So yeah, with that being said, I am just passing through St. Louis. And Welcome I'm, to Illinois. Yeah, thank you, phone lady. I'm dog ass tired, so it's time to keep stop. Keep left for to continue on I-55 I'm gonna throw you North. out the window, phone lady. This wasn't supposed to be a power tour trip but it's feeling very power tour-esque. It's 12.30 at night. It's like the third hotel I've stopped at. And I walk in and ask if they have any availability. They say no. I drive 30 minutes, I ask again. They say no. And I'm getting sick of this. And I really wanna go to bed. So I'm gonna go full Mike from Classic Mustangs 429 mode. 
who, by the way, has a new channel, the old car channel, and just sleep in the back of the truck. And then in three hours, when I can't sleep anymore, I'll wake up and drive two more and do it again. It can't be that bad. I mean, I swear Mike does this for fun sometimes. All right, I think one of the key tips for survival in the back of your vehicle is stick your shoes outside and keep them there. Okay, I should have a shot in hell at pulling this off now. Yeah, this is pretty bad. Good morning, everyone. A surprising, unexpected result. I feel pretty good. I'm not even that sore. It's about 5.20 in the morning. Let's get this some bitch up and running and keep heading south. Alrighty. Let's get this bitch back in orbit. Man, they cleaned this windshield. Holy shit. <laughs> I ran out of wiper fluid last night. Like, look at this thing. Disgusting. Five and a half hours. Let's get her done. That right there, ladies and gentlemen, is the Mason Dixon line. This is the bottom of Illinois and the side of Kentucky. And with that, we are in the Welcome south. To Kentucky. It's damn fall lady every time. We're in Tennessee now. Our final state crossing for our adventure of taking the satellite to its new home. There's a good chance you figured out where we're going, but uh, I'm still not telling you. We'll see in a bit. As you guys may notice, there's been a significant terrain change as we approach, I believe, Nashville. I'm correct, for once. I really like Tennessee. There's a lot of good cars down here, but I didn't tell you that, because then you'll come and get them all. Yeah, it's a terrible place. Don't ever come here. Well, if it ain't Continue dirt. for four miles. Are you kidding? <laughs> You and I are gonna have a talk when this trip is through, phone lady. There we go. Nashville, Tennessee. Okay, so alongside the fact that I'm dropping the satellite off, I was supposed to be picking up some cabs and beds while I was in Tennessee, but I think there was a miscommunication there and that's not gonna be happening from the way it sounds. So with that being said, I think I'm going to be heading home with an empty trailer, which is, you know, inefficient. And it'll ride like shit all the way home. So obviously, the correct answer is to buy something to put on the trailer to take home with me from Tennessee. Either be something that I can't find up north uh, or something really solid that I can sell up north. A little bit of digging through Facebook Marketplace has found me a car that I want to go look at. We're about 32 minutes from there, so we're gonna stop by that on the way to our destination and take a look at that. Yeah, this video might have a whole nother car detour attached to it, so let us go find out. Oh, there it is. Look at that. Now, ladies and gentlemen, an AMC Concord. Any little plan. Well, that's mine now. That sucker is clean. We got a little work to do before we leave for power tour this afternoon. But uh, those guys are gonna follow me down to our destination and help me deliver it to there so I don't have to come all the way back up here. So big thanks to them, let's get it done. Good God, what is wrong with me? I knew this would happen. So if you've never been on power tour, it's something you absolutely have to do. I suggest the first time you go, if there's just a local event near you, go to a single day check it out if you can go to a, get a multi-day pass and go for two days go to the one near you and then the next one and then head home that is the perfect like quick weekend or I got two days off kind of trip uh, if you really want to get into it do three and if you really really want to get into it do the long haul the long haul used to be seven days and that was a commitment we were gone like 10 to 12 days for travel there and back and the whole thing. Last year and this year, the long haul is only five days and that's been a lot better. It's actually a pretty good format. If I'm doing the first two days and then going back to where we're heading right now for the last day, I already drive half the long haul. Screw it, we're doing the long haul. I haven't missed one since 2019. I'm here, I'm already in Tennessee. The hard part's done driving all the way down here might as well so that's gonna be its own video in the concord uh, as for this let's get the satellite where it belongs and wrap all this up oh boy we're here i hope i, I don't actually know if this is the right spot but 
we're at someone's place. Oh, no, it is. It is. I know that car. All right. We've made her. And the big reveal. The car is going to... I swear this microphone only dies for the most important parts of the video. Don't worry, a new camera is here and we are using it now. This is just half month old footage. Basically, we all laughed for a couple minutes about how rusty the satellite was, and then Dylan went on to explain exactly what his plans were with the car and how to bring it back to the road. Being that it's not like a Roadrunner, it's not a GTX, it's not a Hemi car, it's a 318 three speed. Best thing to do is just take the body off, cut the frame, clear out from under it, and Set it right on top of a new frame. Just stomp the frame out. Yeah, honestly. just start kicking. <laughs> just, yeah, just pull on it a little. Just slap in the car. Just, and then you're thinking. Everyone at four corners just pick her right up. <laughs> you thinking like different satellite bottom or uh, retro mod kind of? Would love to do possibly like new Challenger. They're the very close to the same wheelbase. Then six speed Challenger. That'd be awesome. Five seven six one. I I don't care how you do it. Honestly, I consider this car completely unsalvageable so if you can at least take the body and put it back together and make it look kind of like it was and byron can get another ride get another in it ride. that's my one stipulation and, and then it is all yours hey remember these are left hand lug nuts and. though <laughs> a wang a wang a wang a big wang big wang <laughs> this is what i'm gonna say dylan's i'm just gonna you guys go ahead on big. power tour i'm gonna keep visualizing this until it happens okay <laughs> go ahead i'll see you when you get back my arms are kind of hurting. Can you go? <laughs> Can you leave? <laughs> Have you looked under this yet? I've seen the pictures and I don't want to because then I don't really. Have you looked under this uh, yet? When would I? Oh, this is chance? this is Mike, this by the way. Mike. Hi, Mike. Who has changed Canadian. his channel name yes. to something honestly much more appropriate? The old car channel. This is classic Mustang. This is 429, hey, who is now rebranded. Nice. There's rust. I just scraped my face on. So driving here, I went through Illinois, the worst state to drive through in the world. Ow! I did it again. <laughs> and. There was one point where I looked back and I definitely it's saw something. Rust. I definitely saw the something. The floor just fell out of the car. It did. I definitely saw something hit the road and it was just sparks. And I was like, well, that's funny because nothing's missing. But it has air shocks, so that's a plus. Had air in the shocks. It doesn't have it anymore. You just air it up no, and then just, just shoots through the floor. Yo, you don't need a new frame, just use this one. <laughs> yeah, this one's good. I've spray got a bunch of JB wheels. Spray it with some 415 <laughs> and it's good. Yeah. So we didn't really show this as in depth in the revival because we're afraid here. of people's reaction look at this that this is frame rail and this is frame rail and that's not even no it's, it's, i'm speaking terms there. this car you guys need to understand this car is wow that fender got junk that's where the tornado dropped a giant fuel tank on it it's had it been like two inches over it would have crushed the car well so. here's the good thing about if you run any kind of super bird kit you run 70 cornet front fenders anyway so oh, it's not so like it's actually, a big deal mm -hmm. good because i this one got hit by a tornado, and the other one got hit by me. Yeah, which, <laughs> the hood comes down here right in the middle. Yeah. You cut that just straight plumb off, and then it uh, lines up with your nose cone. Runs 70 cornet fenders, and that's it. Bob's your uncle. There you go. Big wang. It's that easy. No, it's I, that easy. I don't have an uncle named Bob, but, you know, whatever you want to say. Big wang. <laughs> Let me go back to that real quick. That. Let's get a look at our front over here. Oh, okay. Uh, there it is. Kevin, the hood's not even bolted on. And you get a nice adapter. I honestly, I never checked. You drove all the way here with no hood. <laughs> Look, there's no bolts. Well, it's latched. I'm surprised the tornado didn't pull the hood off. Me too. Honestly, <laughs> being a, this is the most basic yeah, car. It's a basic. It's match. a three pulley Look car. Look at the dinky radiator. Three pulley car. This with is like from a lawnmower. A three speed on the column. But see, that's why it's not like a big deal to just remove every bit of this and then do something more entertaining. It's just weird to me how nice the car looks on the outside. It was yeah. it was buried Look up to here. I think you're I lying. Drive. It was all fake. What? <laughs> Cutting yeah, holes in the frame. Like, no way it ran. You guys caught us. Junkyard digs is fake. The whole thing was a hoax. Left-handed threads and all. <laughs> We've been keeping it a secret for all this time. Mopar starters. <laughs> it was the same starter. We just kept yelling starter. <laughs> you gotta lift up. She sagged a little bit. It's probably just not straight anymore. You can see uh, right here where it's crimpled the quarters from trying to jack it Hold out of the ground or just moving, wait, honestly. Wait, wait, wait. There we go. <laughs> it's gonna happen. Well, while Dylan does that, Mike, what do you say we go get into our various cars? Let's go. And go do uh, Hot Rod Power uh, Tour. A lot more driving. We will be back to this car in a couple days when Luke is with us and we will do 
the proper send off and hand off to Dylan. All right, well, it's been three days, but Ike's here now. And Luke's here now. Hey. We've been on power tour for a couple days. We're back to drop this thing off today, do a little outro and a little hand off to Dylan. And what better way to do that than try to get the same fire up one more time and maybe even a burnout. Take the hood off just like old times. So just gonna throw a carb on there. Me and Dylan are gonna throw some tires on. And we'll get this sucker done. Be right back. <laughs> He's like a cow that now was born and doesn't have to walk yet. <laughs> Look, it's, it's off. <laughs> Winning. He's mad. That was a lot better than using my leg. Ooh, you and tires tough. on this car, I tell you. Hey, the lug nuts are just, they have an identity crisis on this thing. Not that again. <laughs> I hear the. I'm, I'm waiting for a. Uh, pump, the Pumpasaurus. Yeah. <laughs> I hear it. Yeah. Double bomba. There we go. We got it. Is it leaking? No. Oh no, the accelerator is working all right, mate. You just yep. gonna wire this in here, give it a nail, mate. All right. This is a very loose suggestion of a throttle cable, so. Mm. Is it hooked up? Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I did that in like. So, I like that. I used all my brain power. Oh, here, look, it's fine. I'll adjust it. It's fine. Uh, what? It's a variable, yeah, kill yourself what? throttle cable no, there. Oh, right. be careful, sometimes the steering wheel smokes and catches on fire, so I, you should just well, know. That's, that's just typical. Okay. Um, <laughs> Alright, so I don't remember. This was seemingly a good idea that turned into a bad idea, because I don't know which way is on and off, so that's exciting. Alright. Would you like me to pump the fuel? Oh, uh, it's got some in it. Let's just see what happens. Well, how long has it been? Three years? Will it run and drive after three years sitting in Kevin's backyard? <laughs> Stick around to find out. It's a revival from a revival. That was a very intense. <laughs> Wait, no. Six didn't Jacob seconds. get it running like a year or two after? Stick I, around to see if it runs after one year. Yeah, I think six it's, months. I think it's been two years. Two weeks ago. <laughs> Ooh, that's smoky. <laughs> Y'all are trying to kill each other. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I was like, it's dirty. The dirt's wet. <laughs> I got a little gas in my eye. <laughs> we didn't need that anyway, did we? <laughs> oh, I just took Here, a just, just do like this. No, and just wait, turn the pump on. Do? I got some electrical tape, mate. Dude, no. We can cut it. It's okay. No, we're not cutting it. No, just cut it. No, it's Flex Seal brand. <laughs> Oh, it's not. There's no way. <laughs> you probably no found way. that in a basement. No, this is the good stuff. This is the 3M Skittily Do 1000, whatever. It's good stuff. Okay, so round two, routing somewhere just slightly different. Maybe good. we should just stick Dylan in this thing for a burnout right away. Does it have any liquid in here? Oh, yeah, that's right. At the top. Oh, then we're good. That's, that's what it's I did. It's green and like very questionable looking. So I can drive it then. Just take it home. Yeah. Oh. Yes. I am home. Yeah. Hey, congrats, you did it. It drove home, everyone. <laughs> I made it. <laughs> Everybody run.
my god. Dylan, are you in there? Dylan! <laughs> Dylan! <laughs> Dylan! Get him out! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> oh, fuck! Get out! You know, I felt bad about the burnout we did. Uh, nope. <laughs> that was, we were just like <laughs> on a cloud. Sunday drive compared to. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I could breathe hey. for a minute. <laughs> he, he literally did a burnout so he couldn't hold his breath anymore. <laughs> well, sir. Well done. That's called a handoff. There you go. Yep. It's a handshake. Appreciate it, guys. Enjoy your car. Woo. <laughs> and while the smoke still rolls out of both Dylan and the satellite. That's gonna do it here for us at Junkyard Digs and Luke from Thunderhead 289 in our eight part series of the 1970 Plymouth Satellite Revival. Everyone only had to wait like three years to yeah. see us again. His patience is, it pays off, clearly. You guys didn't want this tire, right? No, okay. we've now popped both back tires on this thing. Hope you guys enjoyed this little update of the satellite and uh, the conclusion for Luke and I and its story. If you want to see the rest, it's far from over. This crazy man right here, ladies and gentlemen. Subscribe to him, see the rest of the satellite story. We'll see you next time right here on Junkyard Digs and Dylan McCool and Thunderhead 289. And Isaac, it'll be fine. Peace. Bye. We're all gonna die of cancer when we're like 50, right? We can I actually tasted tire. <laughs> I've never was... tasted tire before.